Hello everyone! Happy Halloween! Um, hope you had a fantastic week. Maybe you got to have a party at school. Maybe you got to dress up in a fun costume today. This was my four-year-old's costume was Forky. Um, maybe you got to carve pumpkins or pass out treats or get lots of treats or maybe you played some tricks on people. Um, uh, maybe you got outside and played in the leaves or went to a pumpkin patch. Whatever you did, I hope you had a fabulous week. And um, I'm so excited to be back and talking to you. Um, the last couple of weeks we were talking about in the wilderness, how God always gives us what we need, not always what we want. He gives us what we need when we need it. And whether sometimes we may think we need something um, and we really don't, but God always, always provides for us and gives us what we truly do need. And now we're kind of going to move into November and into the next holiday, which is Thanksgiving and the season of being thankful, which we should be thankful all the time, but thankful for not just family, friends, everything that we have, but everything God has given to us to share and the talents that he has given us. Um, to share with others and share his love. Um, he has blessed us in so many ways. And um, so we're going to talk about the parable of talents. Um, we're going to start there. And believe it or not, whoops, my little Forky is going to be part of the lesson today a little bit. And I'll share with you a little bit how that comes into play too. So first we're going to read the parable of talents which is in Matthew 25. Um, the story is verses 14 through 30, Parable of Talents. I am just going to be reading out of the storybook, the Spark Story Bible, but it is also, feel free to look it up and read it in your Bible um, and share the story too. Um, so I'm just going to read this to you. And the talents back in Jesus' day was... Um, a way of payment and a, normally a servant had to work 15 years um, in the Bible here it stated did you know that a talent represented a lot a lot of money back especially back in Jesus's day and a laborer back then would have to work more than 15 years to make a whole talent that's crazy that's crazy so talents when it's talking about the parable of talents it's valuable it's, it's valuable stuff. And in this case of the story, it's talking about a uh, master sharing coins, sharing gold and silver with his servants. Jesus told a story about using the gifts God gives us. A man was going on a trip. I need someone to take care of my money, he thought. He called his servants and handed each of them some talents. The first one he gave five talents, the second two talents, and the third one talent. Take care of this money while I'm away, he said. Two of the servants went to the market. They traded their talents and made more. The one servant was afraid. He dug a hole and buried his talent. The man returned and the two servants handed him more than what he had initially given them. Good job, the man said. You shall have more. The third servant brushed the dirt from his talents. I was afraid, he said. I buried my talent. Give your talents to the others, the man said. You did not use what I gave you. I will not give you any more. So he gave them each a different amount based on what he, their responsibility. Two of them went and shared it, traded it, and made it more abundant. So now we're going to look at this, a parable with like the heavenly meaning that he's talking about. God gives us gifts and he wants us to share those gifts not just for the way that we get payback. He doesn't want that. He wants us to realize that when you give, you will always benefit 
and receive so much more maybe not in like a material thing but you will you will receive so much um, love and satisfaction from doing that from knowing that you're doing what God would like you to do and you're sharing the gifts that he gave you how many of you have ever been walking down the street now it's hard because we all have masks on but have smiled at someone and they smiled back that person or you said hi to somebody and maybe that person um, was having a bad day and when you said hi you saw a smile come to their face that you made a connection you made their day um, one example that they say and this is kind of hard to do because we're all wearing masks right now but smile at five people today just smile at five people see what happens now maybe a sibling might be be like what are you looking at me like that for why are you being nice what do you want from me but try it smile at someone and see what happens if they smile back and you get five people to smile you don't just have your smile you now have ten you have the five times that you smiled plus five more plus those five people had a smile that they didn't expect to get that day God gives us talents maybe your talent is that you're a good reader and you could read to a sibling um, or a, a classmate that's not as strong a reader or maybe you're confident enough that when Pastor Randy asks you to read in front of the church, you can read. It can be scary, but you could do it because that's a talent that you have. Maybe you're good at singing. Maybe you're good at playing an instrument. Maybe you're a good artist. Maybe you, um, like for Halloween example, you were you carved a pumpkin. You, um, I always, I, I always make costumes for the kids. That's something that I like to do. I'm a crafty person. That's a gift that I can share. I like doing that stuff. Maybe you're um, really good at math and at testing and you can help a classmate or a sibling that's struggling. Um, maybe you're a really good organizer. Maybe you're um, a good babysitter. Maybe there are so many talents out there and God gave them to us not to hide and not to keep to ourselves, but to share those talents with others. And the reward that we will, that we get is not, you don't do it just to say, um, to get up an applause or to get an allowance. The reward is in here, the way that you feel and the way that it goes back to the Ten Commandments. That's how God wants us to be. The two servants that, you know, took their talents and traded at the market and made them bigger, they shared them. And that just, the feeling that you get back, just like at church, each week, especially now that it's, everything's virtual, even our Sunday school lessons, music, even church. Each week, Pastor Randy prepares a service for us. He prepares a message for us, not knowing how many people are going to be in the church building, not knowing how many people are going to watch on YouTube, not knowing how many people are going to watch on Facebook. But he prepares this lesson for us, and it reaches so many people each week. That's his gift. That's his talent. He also has a good talent of reading people and getting them to share um, their talents. Um, he can, he gives you the confidence that you need and realize that I can share this gift. This is something that um, I can certainly do. I enjoy that. Even at first when you're like, oh my goodness. Um, last Christmas, Pastor Andy asked one of my daughters to sing. And never ever, I love listening to them sing. I'm their mom, but I love listening to them sing. I love music. And I never, 
I was so proud that they stood up there on Christmas Eve and sang, and even sang with no music together. But Pastor Randy has a gift to give, to make them recognize and have the confidence to share that gift. And it reached so many people. And it gave them the confidence to want to help me share um, their, their talents with opening Sunday school music. And that's a gift. And Pastor Randy shares that gift. The teachers each week doing their lessons, not knowing if anybody's going to watch a video. Um, especially now it's hard because I miss the I miss seeing you in class. It's so hard for me to sit here and record a video of myself. It's hard because I want to see you. I want to hear your comments. I want to hear about your weeks. But we prepare these because I miss our time together and I enjoy preparing these lessons and hope that you're getting something out of them and the teachers that, that they all do that because they enjoy it and we whatever your gift may be we need to make sure that we as hard as it is don't hide them don't it's hard it can be very hard with very hard one thing, I like doing opening music when we're together in a room, singing together. I can do that. These YouTube videos have been very, very hard for me because I'm not, I'm nervous to sing. But God gives us the courage and he helps give us the strength to share the gifts that he gave us and to share his love and to share the news about him so that we can be helpful. We can spread God's love, spread God's word, and follow the Ten Commandments and help each other out. And once you recognize some of your talents, maybe you're a good artist and you can draw pictures. Maybe you like to take pictures. Whatever your talent may be, Share your talent that God has given you. And that's what he wants us to do is share. Because we don't know when God is coming back. We don't know. And we need to make sure that we're always doing our best to live the way he wants us to. Following the Ten Commandments. And doing the best that we can so that when he does, we are ready. And sharing our gifts and our talents. It can be the craziest thing. When Pastor Randy asks to do something, sometimes you're just like, oh, there's no way. Like, is he really talking to me? Like, I can't do that. There's no way I can do that. But you know what? When you do it, I am, I am so thankful to him for seeing something in me that I didn't see in myself. And that is why I continue to do these lessons, the Christmas program, crafty things. That's me. And I am so grateful that sometimes we get a push that we need. And sometimes even though we think, hmm, I'm not good at that. You know what? Someone else believes in us and thinks we are. And we have to have confidence in ourselves. Whether it's being a good listener, a good helper, there's so many talents, boys and girls, and each one of you are blessed with so many talents. And God wants you to share them because he's give, given them to you as a gift, and it's such a special gift. Share your gifts. I would love to hear your talents. So this week... Share with me your talents. Let me know some something that you're good at. What you did for Halloween. If you dressed up, I'd love to see a costume. 
send a picture, keep working on the Ten Commandments, just simple things. Now, I didn't forget about my friend Forky. So let's go back to Forky for a second. I'm going to play a little song here. This is from the part where they're going to go on the RV. Remember, Forky is all that Bonnie wants. And Woody is feeling like he is responsible for Forky. And Forky honestly just thinks he's trash. He does not understand that he's so much more. That he has been gifted with so many things. So this little clip, I'll just play the music and maybe you remember it. It's when they're on the RV and Forky is, Woody does not want help. He wants to do it himself. But he is trying to just keep um, Forky safe. Forky is, the minute Bonnie turns, he disappears because he just, he doesn't get it. He's trash. He feels he's trash. And Forky is so much more. I don't know if any of you have watched this and maybe this music rings back with Forky where Woody is just convinced that he has to take care of him. And he continually is sharing with Forky how special he is. And sometimes that's a talent, boys and girls, is sharing, getting someone else to share their talents, getting someone else to believe in themselves. That is a huge talent because that's making someone else, and that's one of the commandments, making someone else feel better, not being mean. To pick them up and help them out when they need it. And Forky, when he finally realizes that he's so much more than trash and realizes his purpose, he's even an even better gift for Bonnie. And when Bonnie brings home another friend who thinks that they are just trash, Forky helps them out as well. We all have talents, whether we're just a fork made out of the garbage. Bonnie's talent was art. She made Forky. The sky is the limit. Share your talents that God gave you. Don't be afraid because your talent could really make somebody's day. And just like it said, where if you smile at five people and you get five people to smile back, you now have 10 smiles. And that in every day can make a huge difference. Share your talents. God loves you and he gifted you with so many things. Share your talents. Whether you're a simple forky who is Feels like he's falling apart here. Um, whether you're a forky, a simple, whatever it is, no talent is too small or too big. God just wants you to live the way he wants you to so that when he comes back, we're all ready. And just do our best, the Ten Commandments, to live those, follow those rules, live the way he wants us to each day because he has blessed us with so much, boys and girls. And when you do these things, the way you feel inside in your soul, in your heart, is priceless. And it is such an amazing feeling to, give, to share those gifts. The reward that you get inside is am amazing. When I made little Forky here, I made this costume for Layton. It cost me $5. She's got a whole slew. But when I made this costume for her, she actually has wore it a couple times because we have camping at our, our trick-or-treating at our campground. This is a picture of her. This is her Forky. And I have always made the girls' this costume. And this is a $5 costume I made. But the look on her face and how much joy she brought to some of the campers that have some health issues that come up for the summer and this year put a, a damper on it. But they were there and they got to see the kids laughing and the face, the, 
a simple making googly eyes. Um, this is licorice and a pipe cleaner. Such a little thing has now gone trick or treating three times, or has gone out three times and has had people just truly enjoy it. Share your talents. And think of Forky. He at first didn't honestly thought he wasn't anything or he was too small to be anything. He was only a four. He didn't realize what he just thought he was for. He was trash. You're not. No matter how old you are, no matter how young you are, what grade you're in, if you're the oldest sibling or the youngest or the only child, you have a purpose and you have talents. God made you special just the way he wanted you. Have a fabulous week. Um, check the email for other information and let us just take a quick moment to say a prayer and thanking God for all that he has blessed us with. Dear God, thank you for giving us so many talents and gifts. Help us to go this week and share those talents, share those gifts with others just like you would want us to. Don't hide them and be scared. We know that you are with us every step of the way. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a fabulous week. Signing out with Forky.